Imagine this, a coin rolling off the minting presses, each mark on it meant to be unique, but sometimes, in the fascinating chaos of production, something extraordinary happens, the birth of repunched mint mark errors. These anomalies carry a story, a secret code of sorts, revealing the quirks in the coin minting process. Now, let's delve into the heart of the matter. A repunched mint mark error occurs when the coin's mint mark is stamped more than once, creating a captivating dance of overlapping or slightly shifted impressions. It's as if the coin itself is whispering tales of its creation through these subtle, often overlooked, imperfections. How to spot repunched mint marks. So, how can you uncover these hidden gems in your collection? Equip yourself with a magnifying glass, and embark on a detective's journey. Scrutinize the mint mark closely, examining it for any anomalies. Additionally, cross-reference your findings with reputable numismatic guides that meticulously document known repunched mint mark varieties. Now, why should these errors be on your radar? Their value is deeply rooted in rarity, collector interest, and overall condition. The scarcity of a repunched mint mark error significantly boosts its desirability among collectors. Keep in mind that, just like any coin, the overall condition plays a pivotal role in determining its value. Let's highlight a few iconic examples now. 1942 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over horizontal D. In 1942, the Denver Mint coined only nickels of the traditional alloy, after the changeover to the wartime bill and alloy in the middle of that year, Philadelphia and San Francisco created new 5-cent pieces, but Denver did not. Only a small fraction of the 1,942 D nickels struck were coined from the reverse with the distinctly repunched mint mark. The initial application of the mint mark was turned sideways from its proper orientation. Rather than discard the die, a mint worker decided to punch the mint mark again, upright this time. This valuable specimen features sharply struck motifs with full steps on Monticello and it was graded as MS65 by NGC. This true rarity ended up selling for $13,800. 1944 D. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark D over S. According to Heritage Auctions, this is the rarer of two 1944 D-S varieties and the one referenced in the guidebook. The top of the initial S protrudes visibly from the top of the D examples are elusive in full red condition and only a handful of pieces are in superb gem preservation. Several repunched mint mark varieties also exist for this issue but are less visually prominent. This FS511 coin displays a bold strike and satiny copper orange luster without mentionable abrasions or spots. It was sold for $23,400. 1964 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over D. The repunching is clear with a loop but may escape detection by the unaided eye. Each side of this representative is brilliant and satiny, with slight reflectivity discerned in the fields. A few tiny marks are not bothersome. Although the steps of Monticello exhibit the typical softness, this coin is otherwise well-struck and pleasing. It was sold for $19,800. 1909 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over horizontal S. According to Stax Bowers, one of the most popular varieties in this widely collected small scent series, the 1909 SFS 1502 is a repunched mint mark variety on which the first S was entered into the die at 90 degrees from normal with the second S entered properly. This highly elusive MS67 red specimen was sold for $24,000. If you found today's exploration fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and share your own experiences with repunched mint mark errors in the comments. God's will, see you in the next episode. Happy Holidays!